Welcome to Camping with Steve and a Crazy Neighbor. We're going ice fishing today. Um, the cold snap is still on, like minus 30 Celsius, and uh, that's okay. We got a good heater, and I've had that ice fishing tent for like 10 years now, and I've never gone ice fishing in my life. So today we're gonna see if we can figure out how to go ice fishing. Minus and 37 overnight low tonight. Minus 37, so it'll be frosty, but we got a good heater, yep. and uh, yeah, gonna camp out on the lake too. There are some vehicles out there on the ice, but uh, your insurance is pretty null and void if you go through the ice. And this is our first time out, so we're just going to play it safe and pull things out of the sled. It's going to be a deep trip. Over halfway there, Steve. Over halfway there. And yes, it's chilly, but uh, the first goal is to get the shack set up and a heater in it. Then we'll worry about the hole later. We'll probably drill the hole outside, then move the uh, the tent and the heater onto it. It's nice somebody to plow this back. Yeah. <sighs> oh, definitely a bit of a hike, but let's uh, get this shelter set up. Crazy neighbors trying to get a little spot for where we're actually going to put the tent, but for right now, we got to get a heater in there because I think it's time to warm up. Horses in that bucket. First priority is to get it warm, and then make it safe. Warm it up. Oh yeah. Well, it's starting to, it's starting to get a little warmer in here. It is. Just uh, after a quick warming break, we're just getting down to the ice that we're going to be drilling through, and then we'll just move that right over here. Yeah. It'll be good. Let's go get the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Huh. Some people have way nicer setups than us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're professionals. Typical Steve fashion, I haven't even done a lick of research on ice fishing. Just bought the gear and I'm diving in. <laughs> what could go wrong? Last trip, and then uh, I've been pretty thirsty. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> All right, so this hill is going to give us some assistance pulling this sled. Oh no! It's going to be a lot less fun hauling stuff back up that hill. Oh, home! I can see it from here. Looks pretty warm in there. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it looks steamy. See how it is. Oh yes. That's right. Hey. Gotta burn down. Oh yeah. Well that fogs up the lens pretty good. Oh, oh. it's warm. It's like getting in a sauna. This looks fun. <laughs> you think there's any wrong way to do this? Uh clockwise. <laughs> Oh, 
bucks on buying one of those yeah. big fancy uh, gas powered deals. We're sinking. Oh. Yeah, all the water's freezing pretty quick that spilled over. Really cool. We want that because we don't want the tent to be frozen out here. Yeah. Otherwise we'll have to spend the whole winter out here ice fishing. Yeah. But, that is uh, so all the all the pros out there just shaking their heads at two grown Canadian men that have never ice fished in their life. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's good, good judgment, Sophos. Never has before. Time, she's already icing over on us and uh, yeah someone had told me uh, you're bringing a scoop right and I said what on earth are you talking about we're going fishing and they said no it'll freeze you got to scoop that stuff out so uh, they have proper scoops but this I just took from home Kettler works yeah I can see the bottom there's something shiny down there Maybe it's somebody's car keys. Oh jeez. I hope they're not mine. With all that accomplished, uh, it, we'll proceed to step two. Step two it is. Cheers. Cheers, Steve. Mm. It's not even frozen. <laughs> oh, it is cold though. Mm -hmm. So, we are going to anchor this thing down to the ice. There isn't supposed to be any wind tonight, but that was also true with the bubble wrap shelter. <laughs> what <And> I, wind? <laughs> I don't want to be chasing this thing across the lake no, uh, be in this weather. So, we'll get that done in a second, but first, of course, we have to enjoy a beverage. Then yeah. we're going to catch some fish. Yeah. We thought we'd be all slick and use those uh, bolts from the house with the impact gun. They don't work. So we dumped a bunch of snow around this and we're praying for not a lot of wind tonight. Got us a couple of fishing sticks. Um, what do you want, green or yellow? I don't care. Yellow. It's closer, sure. Okay, they're fairly brightly colored, so when we drop them in the, uh, in the water, we know what to do. City Slicker goes fishing. Have you caught in a lot of fish in your life before? Very Crazy few. Name. Caught one a couple of years ago when we were on the river together, and that's oh, yeah. That's about it. Huh. Is it weird to be using the same hole? I, I just had enough uh, drilling after we got the first hole done. Yeah, me too. I got something. It's your lure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll 
take turns fishing. This will be a nightmare <laughs> otherwise. Okay, you got to start it with a big juicy perch or something. Two hours, no bites. Crazy neighbor saw a couple little fish though. Like, what would you say? How big? Uh, really small, like that big feeders or something. Oh, real small. Well, probably the big fish will come around and eat them, and we'll be in business. That's the hope. Yeah. Yeah. So, this buddy heater is working really good, but it's melting a lot of this ice here. Now, it's not going to melt through all the ice, um, obviously. But it's making it super slippery. So I've got a barbecue here. Fortunately, I brought something to eat because mm -hmm. good. I don't know if we're going to catch a fish today. But uh, I can set this on top of there and hopefully keep it a little further away from the ice. Yeah, that'll work. Should do good. Oh, yeah. Still get enough heat here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is, and of course. It doesn't go down the hole because uh, <laughs> there's no place for it to go. No place for it to go. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna crack this door a little bit here and try to. Yeah, I oh, think yeah. it's gonna be a wet night. Got the secret weapon here, the glowing lure. We probably should have got bait. Yeah, maybe. But I have had actually decent success in these lakes with like lures. Um, without any bait. Pretty much, you know, one of the first casts out, there's usually something. So, I've heard that you gotta kinda jiggle things around. It's, um, it's relaxing, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's a good excuse to get out on the ice and uh, have some beers, in my opinion. Uh, I think this is uh, not something to rely on unless you're really good at fishing and know the spots because there's no way we're going to take this down and drill another spot in a boat you just kind of go to somewhere better but uh we'll uh see if we catch anything so outside right now it is minus 27 celsius uh minus 16 fahrenheit i can't even see my breath in here this is extremely comfortable um throughout the night though it's going to drop down there's a extreme cold warning on it and it we're going to get down to minus 35 celsius which is minus 31 fahrenheit um i'm not too worried this thing is an insulated tent it's the otter resort vortex um i think they mean like polar vortex um i don't know but it is cozy getting very very little condensation on the walls uh there's some frost building up around the hubs and on the poles but we've actually got the door open to try and cool this puddle lake stealth. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty slippery. Yeah, it is. Um, so, well, I got to turn this down at night because um, this is actually a very well insulated tent um, and I don't think I'm going to need it full blast. I'm actually going to take my jacket off right now. I'd be just fine. So, that's what's going to happen here. It's just about dinner time though. We didn't catch our fish, so smokies. Still trying. They're uh, they're fast and easy. Wouldn't you rather be eating a big fish with all the trimmings right now? No, <laughs> I'm not a big fish. <laughs> well, one day, one day, I consulted with uh, with one fellow that runs an ice fishing shack company around here. Yeah, and he said. You're allowed to have a beer as long as you've got sleeping accommodations yep. and a bucket. 
a bathroom. So we got both. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's, that's really good news. Hold on. Bait. Yes. Crazy neighbor, would you like one? Uh, yeah, I'll wait for a little while. Yeah. Thank you very much. Hold note to reel in General Sherman there. No, I had a late lunch and I'm not really quite that hungry yet. Okay. Did you bring a gaff? No, those are uh, prohibited for use. Yeah, I don't think we'll need one here anyway. <laughs> you know. Fishing with my brother Bob, every time he'd catch a fish, he'd yell out to everybody, Get the gaff! Get the gaff! <laughs> and there'd be fishermen all around. What's he doing? What's he yelling about <laughs> getting a gaff? You can't use gaffs. I have to apologize to any serious anglers that tuned in to want to see some thrill a minute uh, candid expose on ice fishing, but this uh, is just kind of us hunkering down uh, in a tent in really cold weather. And if we happen to catch a fish, bonus, so be it. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's good. I have to give, um, Shout out to all the beer donation folks. Because Crazy Neighbor has been known to enjoy some beers. Yeah, we, have to, we, have. <laughs> we have to keep them hydrated. Yeah. Um, and also thank you to all the folks over the last month and so that have donated to uh, your local charities of your choice and sent me a message. You got a new shirt. <laughs> I got the same old one. Yeah. So, uh, yeah probably going to hit the hay relatively early. It's like 8.30. <laughs> so, a um, little kind of late dinner. Um, then we're going to try this again in the morning um, just to see uh, when the fish are biting. So that's a nice fishing first. <laughs> We heard a truck go past, and it was a delivery from the bar, Jungle's Bar and Grill. It's uh, sent over by the owner of the bar, and uh, look at this, we got hot food. <laughs> hot food. Step twos. Oh, awesome. Given to beer pressure. Well, this one's plain, but that's okay. Yeah. Wow. This is good, good. water. I think they kind of knew we weren't going to catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they brought us food. That's good. Yeah, so... Uh, Delivery. <laughs> bet you're glad you held out. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's just awesome. Um, surprise of the day. So, uh, yeah, you don't expect a beer and food delivery uh, <laughs> yeah, like ice fishing. Oh, there's a poutine. Either even label for us. Burgers. There's a burg. This is a burg here too. Poutine. Salt and pepper wings. Oh, look at all this. And a brisket. Uh, oh, wow. So, <laughs> thank you, Sheila. Yeah, uh, thank you, Sheila. Sheila, the girls at the bar there. Uh, Jody as well. Wow. Yes, that's a good oh, looking, yeah. Good looking brisket. Look at that. Yeah. Okay. So. Awesome. <laughs> Next time, we'll just order food out here. <laughs> just taking a peek outside here. It is as chilly as advertised. Uh, some people are running generators on a couple of shacks, but um, we can't hear them too much inside the ice fishing shack, so that's not bad. Yeah, there's Jungle's Bar and Grill over there. What an unproductive fishing trip, but it was a good trip. Um, Very good. Hopefully we catch a nice breakfast fish. Wouldn't that be good for a big fish for breakfast? Well, it'd be nice to catch the fish. I don't know about breakfast, <laughs> but it'd be nice to catch the fish. Yeah. We've uh, turned down the, the heater onto low because um, I really want this to kind of freeze back up again. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Doesn't sound happy, but uh, hypothermia will wake us up if we get too cold. So. <laughs> Shivering well. Yes. So, uh, Hey guys, we will catch you in the morning, and hopefully, I'm gonna catch more than just catching you. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
That was a cold one. First time I've ever had the GoPro freeze up on me in the night. So, I don't know if it recorded my time lapse. Uh, our heat is back up. It was low was not a good setting for that. No. We got a uh, new little bit of a layer of ice. Our hole is uh, filled back in. Partially frozen. Partially over frozen. There. So we'll open that up. And see what uh, oh. we can do. Should be too hard to get open. This should be pretty easy. Yeah, there we go. Don't drop the hammer. All right. We gotta catch something. We go. We didn't bring breakfast. No. We're not gonna catch a fish uh, if this video is gonna get up. <laughs> so I think we've picked the wrong spot or we really don't know what we're doing. Actually, probably both. Um, Combination of the two, yeah. Yeah, there's no fish left in this lake. We just have the leftovers here in our little homemade shack. They got big fancy ones. They've been here right from the start, dragging them out left, right, and center, I'm sure. We're we're not done with ice fishing. I'm gonna try this again. Oh, no. But uh, if I put up another ice fishing video, uh, if we don't catch a fish, I'm not gonna put it up. If you see another ice fishing video, it means we caught a fish. At least one. At least one. Yeah. It's been, uh, we may, there's shack big, big rentals. One. There's like nice shack rentals, fancy ones. You just go right out to them. Yeah. Porta potties, wood stoves, everything. So we might do that. And those are set up in a better location, apparently. I was looking on, uh, on yeah, Facebook Yeah, Apparently the other page. side of the lake is a lot better for some reason. Yeah, the, the, the north side's, I guess, better for, for fishing. And um, I was seeing pictures of, you know, everybody that's rented there holding up huge fish all over the place. Fish, fish, fish. So, yeah, let's... Uh, Maybe try the other side of the lake next time. And uh, if you want to see somebody catch a fish, check out Mav. He reels them in like crazy, you wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> tear this stuff down. And, yeah. Uh, Finish my step two. And <laughs> we're out of here. Yeah. Awesome. It didn't freeze down to the ice, so that's great. Just the tent to take down now. I don't think it'll fit back in the bag. We'll get it. Not the bag. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Please consider uh, subscribing if you want to see us finally catch a fish in the future. I swear, the next video that mentions fishing, we're gonna have a big one too big to get through the hole. <laughs> get the guy! <laughs> get the guy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.